Welcome Ridge Life, I'm Tim and today we've got a problem to solve here on the ridge. We've got a farm road that is all gullied out. We need to get a crown put back on that thing. So we're gonna use our New Holland Workmaster 55 tractor with our Dragon box blade, take care of that problem. The New Holland Workmaster 55 is a 55 horsepower tractor four-wheel drive. We've got big tires in the front. We really like that. We've got the 615 TL front loader option on it as well. And we've got a Dragon box blade. Now this Dragon box blade's been through some work now. We've bent the tines on it. We've got them pointing up right now. But the blade's in good condition and we are going to put a nice crown on this road. It is gullied out pretty good, um, but I know we can fix it. Now with a box blade like this to get the proper crown on a road, I want to tilt my box blade down on one side. And to do that, on my three-point hitch back here, I've got this arm right here I can adjust up or down. I've also got some connections where I can tilt it this way or that. So what I want to do is I want to lower this side and bring it in some. That way it draws the gravel to the center and also cuts a deeper edge on the uh, edge and higher crown. To lower this side, I lift up on this collar here and I just start turning it to lower it and I just want to get about a five or 10 degree down angle on it. Should be just enough right there. I've got three holes exposed over here. I got three over there. So I want to bring it in, bring it in so I can get two. That should be enough. There we go. Now we've got an angle in on it. Give us a nice crown. Looking at our box blade now, we can see it's tilted down on this side a little bit and brought in. So now the next thing we need to do is get our Crocs put in four-wheel drive. We don't want to get on a tractor without your Crocs in four-wheel drive. How, how can you be a farmer without your Crocs in four-wheel drive? Let's mount up on our tractor and get to work. I always want to make sure you wear hearing protection when you're on your tractor. You don't want to go let deaf and be like them old guys at the at the convenience store going, eh, what'd you say, Robbie? Oh, I don't know, Fred. What'd you say? Oh, I don't know. I've been on that tractor all my life. I can't hear nothing. Don't want to be like that, do you? Wear some hearing protection. As we walk up our field road here, we can really see we are grooved out all the way up this. Um, big trenches from whenever the rain comes, just gully washes this out. At least it doesn't go over the edge anymore down the ravine there. But uh, as you can see, it is a pretty deep crevice right there. And we will get all this taken care of, get a nice crown put on this again and call this field road done. You can see it's not too bad at the bottom there, but we're gonna do it nonetheless.
Well, I think the road turned out nicely. We got both those deep furrows filled in. We got the gravel crowned up in the middle. Uh, this is a pretty hard road to do anyway because the way it comes down and, and slopes off this pond here. But it used to overflow into the ravine over here, so now we've got a, a little uh, lip built up on both sides. Really keeps that water in the road here. Uh, and I can always just pull the gravel back up and fill it. It's better than all the gravel going out in the woods over there, which is what we used to have. So let's take a walk up here and, and see how it turned out. As we walk up, we can see both those deep furrows are gone. We're a little high in the center, which is exactly what we wanted to be. Nothing uh, overflowing into the uh, ravine over here, which is a good thing. We uh, pulled down this left side here, which was really high coming off the pond, but turned out really nicely all the way up. Just got to keep doing some uh, driving on it with the tractor and the Kubota to really harden it out. We used to have a lot of water pour over here but now uh, we got this lip built up, so it does really well. Y'all can see right through here, there's the barn over there and the pond. We love, love, love having the barn up here on the ridge. And you can see it all levels back out as we go back down to the ridge house. Well, that's one more job off the list. We can take the tractor, get it up in the barn, get in the house, eat some dinner with the family, get these crocs out of four-wheel drive mode, get them in leisure mode, and that's where I like them. If you like today's video, hit the thumbs up for it, please. Subscribe to Ridge Life if you haven't already. Hit the notification bell to be notified anytime a new video comes out. And as always, I hope everyone has a blessed day, and go Ridge Life.